Okay, here's the story on four mallets, at least my story about four mallets. First of all, I didn't name my way of holding the sticks the Burton grip. I'm always embarrassed about this. People say, oh, you use the Burton grip, or you don't use the Burton grip. Um, I didn't make up that name for it, but I did make up the grip. Um, and I came about it kind of gradually, starting with uh, what I think is still called the traditional grip. Uh, that's the one where the inside mallets are on top, and when you play single line passages, you use the two inside mallets. And that's how I first started playing with four mallets. And the problem became, this is kind of clumsy. I can't open them very far. And when I play with two mallets, this other mallet bounces up and down a lot, giving you a blister real quick. And you get a blister anyway, but this makes it even worse. So I did what a lot of mallet players were doing. I would play with four mallets uh, during you know, the easy part, but then when it came time to solo, I would put down two and go at it with two mallets. The problem was then that I would get ideas where I wanted to hit a four mallet chord during my solo and I wouldn't have the four mallets. So I decided uh, this would have been, oh, the, maybe I was a sophomore in high school at this point. I've been playing for uh, six or eight years already. I decided that I had to hold the sticks in my hands all the time. And I had to learn how to do this and get over the awkwardness. So I knew then that this grip was not going to work. So I started experimenting and I discovered that if I just reverse and put the outside mallets on top, something happens in your hand. When I play with one mallet, only the mallet that's attacking has to move much. This kind of rolls around and this one rolls this way. So when I play a single line passage, it really feels the same as if I have two mallets in my hands. It, I don't feel the extra weight and awkwardness of this other mallet. Feels very comfortable. With the traditional grip, when you go to open them and then close them, there's this moment where your thumb comes around to push them back together, and this mallet is, you know, not very stable, and it gets clumsy. With my grip, it is always in my control. And I'm doing all this, the opening and closing, with my fingers. The thumb only has one job, and that is to help this inner mallet attack, push down. But the opening and closing is done by my fingers. And that seems a little awkward when you first try it. And what I've told students over the years is when you're sitting around the house watching TV, listening to records, whatever, put the mallets in your hand and just open and close them. And within a week or two, it'll feel very comfortable and very natural. We're not used to moving our fingers like this. We're used to grip, gripping things. And in this case, we're going to uh, do something a little different with our fingers. So this takes a little getting used to. I haven't had anyone ever come back to me and say, I just can't do it. It's too hard. Uh, I've, I've explained this to hundreds and hundreds of, of uh, students over the years. So it's not, a, it's not rocket science. And of course, I play single line parts with the upper mallet of each hand. And I want to have as much independence as I can. So I use all four of them independently depending on the passages that I'm playing. There is another uh, way of holding four mallets which is called the Musser grip. Um, it's very popular with marimba players. And I also know some vibraphone players, Joe Locke, for instance, uh, uses the Musser grip. And uh, Lee Howard Stevens, the marimba player, uses the Musser grip. Uh, I find it, for me, it's, it's a little clumsy, but certainly a lot of players like it, so it, it must be okay. Um, 
two fingers separate the mallets and the mallets don't touch each other. You hold one mallet with these fingers and the outside mallet is held with the fourth and fifth finger. And of course you can get wide intervals this way and the Merba players tell me there's a sense of independence of the sticks because the mallets aren't touching each other. Uh, I just find it a little clumsy because I'm holding the stick right out by the end and the, the weight seems, you know, uh, kind of out of balance to me. But that's probably because I've been playing with uh, this particular grip for so long that it's just what feels, it's what feels the most natural to me. The way we are introduced to four mallet playing is uh, kind of an important thing. Uh, unfortunately, uh, with most young players, they start with two mallets. I did. You know, the first pieces I learned to play were just simple two mallet things. And in the case of somebody who's in the school band, uh, school orchestra, it's usually, uh, excuse me, uh, drummer, come here. There's a xylophone part here. Here, see if you can learn these few notes and, and see if you can play this. But it would be better if we started from the beginning with four mallets. And here's a, here's a kind of a, an analogy that really explains it. Imagine that you're going to take piano lessons and you go in to the teacher and you sit down and they say, okay, for the first two months we're going to use these two fingers. And we're going to get really good at playing with those two fingers before we move on. And okay, now we've mastered that. Now we're going to go and play with four fingers and we're going to learn to play with those four and so on until you finally use all ten. And you see what would happen, you would have to relearn the coordination and the mental process of playing with a different combination of fingers. The same is true here and in fact um, I th I'm pretty sure it's true that for players who have played with two mallets for many years uh, they really find it almost impossible to switch to four because they're so, it's so ingrained already, uh, how they view the instrument, how they've developed uh, their concept of playing uh, to, to play with two mallets that it's like starting over with four and it's so uh, difficult and, uh, and you know, and, and like it is like starting over that uh, they give it up. They don't do it. They stay with two. So my advice to people is, you know, even if you're not playing complicated parts, maybe it's a music that only requires two mallets to play it, hold the four in your hands. So you get used to them being there and you seeing them and feeling them in your hands. Um, because it'll, and the sooner you can start playing music that uses four mallets, uh, the easier it'll be and the more natural it'll be. Until I came along in the evolution of the vibraphone, very few people played with four mallets and they tended to only do it occasionally. Uh, and people told me, you know, uh, it's just kind of a novelty thing. Uh, it'll never be practical to play with four mallets uh, you know, all the time or, or in faster pieces or in, in, you know, fa in more difficult circumstances. And I played alone a lot. I grew up in a small town, a farm town in Indiana, and there were no other musicians to play with. So I wanted it to sound more complete. I wanted harmony. And I wanted my performing to sound, uh, you know, all there. So I just kept playing with four and pretty soon I realized that, you know, it wasn't so hard. It wasn't as hard as it looked or as it seemed at the beginning. And, and I, you know, more or less proved um, to a lot of people and myself as well that this was a very viable way of playing. And of course nowadays uh, a lot of musicians play with four mallets and it's considered a pretty normal thing. And I certainly recommend it um, to any student who's starting out. Uh, certainly playing with two mallets is a viable approach to the instrument and if that's the music you hear and that's the style you want to play then that's fine. But um, there are more possibilities of playing uh, that are available to you with four mallets. You can play chords, you can accompany other instruments, you can play solo pieces and so on. So I like having that uh, more pianistic uh, capability on the instrument.